uh, our main job is to buy good racehorses. Um, I buy all uh, types of horses across flat and jumps racing, racing and breeding, um, buying and selling. Um, I try and do a bit of everything across the industry. I guess the variety of the job and just being part of the core of the industry, uh, racing and breeding is my passion and it's great to be part of it. Uh, getting clients is the main challenge, uh, obviously in our industry. You know, the prize money in the UK is not as good as other countries and it's hard to get clients who want to spend big money on racehorses. That's the biggest challenge. A uh, bit of catalogue study in terms of uh, thinning the catalogue out by pedigree and then also just going around inspecting the horses at the yearling sales here. It's you know, more about just looking at the pedigrees and the horses. Obviously the, the horses and training sales, there's a lot more pre-work in terms of looking at form and video. Different with different types of horses, obviously, depending on whether you're buying a foal, yearling, racehorse, broodmare. Um, but generally, when you're looking at any sort of young stock, be it a foal or a yearling, you're basically trying to find an athlete, find a horse who's a good shape, um, has a good temperament, walks well, and then uh, after that, you'll you know being strict on pedigree, and obviously you have to fit the horse to the budget. So with lesser budgets, you obviously need to be a little more forgiving. Um, and it's just a combination of finding and putting all the ingredients together in terms of how the horse moves, how it behaves, the shape of the horse, its pedigree. And I like the horse to look like it should do for the pedigree as well. So a sprinter to look like a sprinter, a stay to look like a stay. Uh, just the buzz. I mean, I, I get the more, the biggest buzz I get is when I buy a horse that does well on the racetrack. So it's really the endeavour and the aim is to try and find the best horse I can with a view to get success on the racetrack. You know, I'm driven by getting success on the racetrack and this is sort of the the, uh, the way to find the best horses possible hopefully, so that's what I'm aiming for. Um, knowledge, I think having a great knowledge of form and pedigrees is essential. Um, obviously having a good eye uh, and trying to pick the good horses and integrity. I think obviously uh, whether it's an industry where there's a lot of money flying around, having your integrity is important and yeah, hopefully getting on with people. It's a very much a people game and um, you know, if people like you and get on with you, you form good relationships, that's when hopefully you can form relationships with clients and, and obviously then you'll depends how successful you are with the horses you buy. Um, my view would be try and get as good a knowledge as you can in various parts of the industry, be it veterinary, um, working for a trainer, working on a stud farm. I mean, I did two of the courses. I did the uh, BHA graduate program, also I did the Godolphin Flying Start. So they were great foundations for me in terms of learning the ins and outs of the business. Um, I've always been a big uh, study of form and pedigrees um, so that I think having that knowledge has done me really good in attracting clients through having maybe more knowledge than other people uh, but yeah, it's the wider your base of knowledge and the more people you know in the industry the two ways you'll try and progress.